Drake's rollout has been unbelievable, unprecedented. You like Drake's rollout? The amount of time that he's been able to hold attention about the album coming out has been unbelievable. And like the way that I look at it is this, some people do a rollout for a streaming show, mm -hmm. right? Where you go, oh my God, we're dropping this new streaming show. And then people watch it that weekend. And then the conversation's done. With Game of Thrones, you controlled the conversation before it came out, the eight weeks that the show is on, and then maybe a week or two after where you're predicting what's gonna happen next season, what the future is. And I feel like he knew, or I don't know if he knew, but like I feel like he's done a fantastic job of continuing to keep the energy with the tour, and then when the tour's over, dropping the album. Yeah, I think if Drake wasn't on tour, I don't know if that energy would, would be there. But do you think, Alex said this yesterday, he was like, I think this is by design. So it's like... What scares me, and it's not a scare, because Drake's going to be fine. Drake put out a song last Friday, and nobody cared. What was the song? The Drake and Scissor record. No, oh. people, that's just dropping. People do like it. It came out last Friday. And, and it came out last Friday, and people just started talking about the lyrics yesterday. Because I, I saw people, you know, uh, posting about how he said something about whips, whips and chains. You get whipped and chains like an oh, African yeah. slave or something like that. And I remember, I, I'm in the group chat, and I'm like, I'm, I'm like, damn, Drake put out this record Friday, and people just get into the lyrics on a Monday? I mean. That's not Drake like. Um, he's going to be fine. Regardless, I just think that, you know, it's also when you think about you look at the album cover and you hear the title for all my dogs. I think we was looking for something a little bit more harder, a little bit more aggressive. We let's came see out what with happens. This, this let's, slow joint with SZA. Let's see what you happens. He's bringing the old Drake back, though. Is this old Drake, Alex? You a Drake fan? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, really know. Because it's like it is singing. It is rapping. So I guess it is old Drake. I didn't hear no rapping on it. Unless I didn't get through the whole song. I know Holly Berry is not pleased in any way, shape, but or that's form. even genius. Like I, he could ask her, but then that's not going to create the conversation that he wants. If he's smart, Holly Berry goes, "I wish he asked me. It would have been nice if he asked me." And then that's the news story. That's on TMZ. That's on other all these other places. If Holly Berry goes, "Oh, he asked my permission. I think it would be really cool." Not a news story. So it's just constant news being generated and constant conversation between what's happening at the live shows and the, are we gonna get the drop? He's controlled the narrative for months and just more and more people are aware that an album is gonna come out. Yeah. So I, let's see what happens when the album does finally drop, but his ability to hold that attention around the album and use the attention of the tour to promote the album, I thought it was well, well, the well thing, executed. The thing I always give Drake a lot of credit for is that Drake does keep it about the music. Like, you know, even though Drake has moved on to do some other things, like, you know, executive produce Top Boy, executive produce Euphoria, you know, he's got other things that he's in, his main focus for the last decade or better has just always been music. Yeah. He's not running to be in movies, you know, he's not running to do his own TV show. It's always about the music. So he really don't give you anything else, you know? This is the mo this is the first year we've seen Drake do like three, four interviews, right? Like I've never seen Drake have this many interviews in a year, you know? So yeah. when he does that, people pay attention to the interviews for the, mo for the most part. But other than that, he just gives you music. You know, but I just, you know, what Drake doing is dope, but I'm telling you, man, the way Doja Cat manipulates social media is unreal.